So what's at stake in Williams-Uly versus the Florida Bar is whether or not states are allowed under the federal constitution to prohibit judges for asking for money in person, over the phone, or through a letter, which is known as personal solicitations. 30 states across the country have bans on personal solicitations, including Florida, which is where this case comes from. So this is important because we've seen a new culture of judicial elections where judges uh, have been forced to go out and raise more and more money, often from folks who then appear before them in court. And there is a special dynamic that occurs when a judge or judicial candidate goes out and asks for money. There are uh, ways of ingratiation that that may create a special relationship or more access or favoritism uh, for folks who will then be appearing in front of those courts. And there's a real due process concern. The Supreme Court seemed to be very interested in the possibility that this is a real threat, that um, banning personal solicitations from judicial candidates was something that was in the broader public interest and was in some ways necessary to reinforce judicial integrity and public confidence in the courts. The Uli case is a window into some of the larger issues that are going around in judicial elections. Um, and more and more folks are coming to the conclusion that it's not so much uh, being able to make tweaks where necessary, but that more systemic reform uh, about how we choose our judges in the first place is a more direct way to attack some of the threats that are uh, endangering judicial impartiality.